Hello and welcome to the first in our series exploring the little things we love about cruising. And the little things we love about particular itineraries, particular destinations, particular cruise companies and particular ships. As the name doesn't suggest, the little things can be big or small, as you'll see here as we explain what we loved about the Celebrity Edge. So let's cut the chat and we'll take you to Valletta in Malta, where we met with Celebrity Edge and made a top 10 of the little things we loved. So we count down in order, starting at number 10. There's not a single feature on any other cruise ship in the world as mystifying as the magic carpet. Then I suppose all magic carpets are mystifying, aren't they? On first impressions, it looks like during construction, someone crept into the St. Lazare shipyard at night and glued a large bus shelter to the side of the ship as a prank. On the contrary, it was designed by architect Tom Wright, who designed the Burj Al Arab in Dubai, who knew exactly what he was doing. Hmm, that puts me in my place, eh? But step onto it and you begin to realize that it's a rather ingenious idea. A champagne bar, evening venue, relaxation area and tender embarkation area all in one. Tender embarkation area in the day, champagne bar at night, that's like using your best formal wear shoes to mow the lawn isn't it? Brilliant innovation it may be, it's still jarring to look at, like a car with only one wing mirror. That you can't deny. Located on what celebrity rather stylistically call the resort deck, the jogging track is normally just a painted line on a boring piece of promenade near the funnels for inhaling all that lovely sooty air, making you feel like you're jogging around Birmingham city centre in the 1920s. Not so the Celebrity Edge. Her jogging track is different to any other jogging track at sea. It is a decent length at nearly quarter of a mile long and has slopes, yes, slopes as it undulates over two decks. Whether walking, running or being part of a huge drunken conga, a quality workout and possibly shin splints is guaranteed. The theatre is not like any other theatre we've seen, comprising four stage areas, three moving backdrops and incorporating 16 synchronised projectors, performances here promise to be the most immersive you have ever experienced, with shows that are designed exclusively for Edge's groundbreaking technologies. The retreat isn't a place, it isn't an amenity, it isn't a service, it's all of that and more. Well, that's what the celebrity website says. What it really is, most of the guests won't see because it's a premium area exclusively to the suite guests on board, featuring a list of premium services far too long to explain in the time we have. The actual retreat area comprises the retreat lounge, the retreat sun deck and the Luminae private restaurant. And it's gorgeous. Pricey, but gorgeous. At the rear of the ship, stretching vertically over three floors with an extraordinary wake view through the windows bigger than Elon Musk's ambitions, is Eden. Eden has that wow factor that makes your jaw drop the moment it draws you in. In fact, trivia fans, for the design of this space, Patricia Urquiola, the Spanish architect and designer, looked to the golden ratio, a mathematical formula that forms many of the curves found in nature. Ever been to the Eden Project in Cornwall in the UK? Eden is the ship equivalent of that, a beautiful cocktail bar in a delicious and scientifically accurate botanical setting. Central to the resort deck is the pool and the most unusual but mesmerising hot tubs you've ever seen. I swear the designers of this class of ship were either ex-Turner Prize or smoking something rather beneficial to their creativity. Suspended two storeys above the pool like huge goblets of bubbling chlorinated beverage are the hot tubs, hanging impossibly in mid-air by the slimmest of stems. Disclaimer. Hot tub water is not a beverage and should not be consumed under any circumstance. References to large beverages is for comic effect only. 
The pool is shaped like a capital D and is hemmed by lovely lounges that sit inside the pool. Well, they would if the weather here in Valletta wasn't so awful. And I'm not going to mention the artwork, bold and stark. This area, like most areas of this ship, is an absolute sensory feast. In the central core of the ship, the Grand Plaza is designed like the interior of a spaceship, with the centerpiece martini bar wrapped around the bottom of a gigantic alien chandelier composing of five levels of 765 blades with inlaid LED strips that change colour depending on the time of day. If you look at it long enough, you see it resembles the power core of the Death Star, had it been designed not by Geonosians with the help of Galen Erso, but by a couple of French designers from design studio Juan Mancou. Say what? They did? Oh! The rooftop garden mixes a scene from Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland with an iron horse straight from the pages of a gothic novel and large alien lights that resemble flora from a distant galaxy. There's greenery aplenty and the sunset bar at the back services you with drinks while you drink it all in. Not since celebrity put real lawns on their Solstice class ships have we seen anything quite so, hmm, fabulously organic. At number two in our list of little things we love about Celebrity's Edge class ships is something we can all rejoice in. The sheer variety of restaurants and cafes available to the guests. There is literally something for everyone here, from premium dining to buffets to grab and go. I'm not going to go into detail about every venue on the ship as it'll take far too long and it'll also be subject to a future Edge class dining guide, so please subscribe as you'll not want to miss that one. They say that in London, you're never more than six feet away from a rat. Blech. Well, on Edge, it seems you're never more than six feet away from food and drink. And that, my friends, is one of the primary joys of cruising, don't you think? Now, our number one might surprise you. The little thing we most love about Celebrity Edge class ships is, drumroll please, the art and design. Yep, it's design and the sheer artistry of everything around you. Regarding design, the architects and engineers simply tore up the rule book and spent a billion dollars making it. Well, a class of its own. A billion dollar ship. From its parabolic ultra bow, yes, that's what it's called, to its giant wonky rear-end window, it's nothing like you've ever seen before from a cruise company. Ever. Inside there's art literally everywhere. Every journey you take inside is interrupted by something interesting to ogle at, to admire, or to distract you. Celebrity are good at this though, and if you've been on any of their older ships you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. up our first ever Little Things We Love compilation. I hope you've enjoyed the ride, learnt something about Celebrity's brilliant new Edge class ships and we look forward to showing you many more in this series. Until then, please consider subscribing and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.